Hey guys, and welcome to part four of the appetizer series. Um, in this episode, we're going to model the toothpick or toothpicks and um, the oil. Okay, so let's just open up the file we were working on last time. And that's what it should look like. And yeah, let's first of all um, talk about the oil. Okay, so let's just... Um, Select all the green olives, H. Select all those pepperoni pieces, H. And let's select all the black olives and let's hide them as well. So now we're just um, left with the bowl. And now let's go into edit mode. Let's hit C and let's also undisplay the norms. We don't need them like this, C. And then let's just hit Control plus and let's select just about that much that should be enough. Shift D, P, selection to separate that from the rest. Back with C and let's just move that up a little bit. Okay. And now SC0 because it's usually oil is flat if you just leave it there. And then towards the outer regions, it tends to give you a slight radius. Um, and we're going to do that just now. C, 1. So we can look at it from a side view. And now this is our um, oil, so to say. Okay, so let's just grab the most outer vertex uh, edge loop. Let's extrude that, scale it out, and let's move it down a little bit. Like this, but only a tiny little bit. We don't want it to have too strong of a uh, radius going on or curve going on there. Like this. And let's just make sure it actually goes out of the bowl everywhere. Like this. So this is essentially our oil model, okay? Fairly simple. Um, let me just see one last thing. To make sure that the depth is more or less okay, let's just move it down a little more. Scale it in some more. It's a bit too much oil in my opinion, okay. Now let's just hit, um, now let's just hit Alt-H to bring back our olives. And let's just see where they are okay and you can see they are actually a bit too far within the bowl but it doesn't really matter i believe because yeah you, you cannot see it from the camera angle and even if you're looking from another angle it doesn't you don't notice so that's okay and now what we have to do we have to use the sculpt sculpting mode to make sure that there are actually some kind of small uh, yeah that, that this um capillary action is going on towards the olives okay and we do that by hiding first of all um shift g select all the pepperonis and hide them again we don't need them for now and now let's also hide all the oh, control z uh, shift g select all the black olives let's hide them as well and now we can work only with um, those remaining olives and now what we're going to do we're going to select this um the oil mesh and we're going to sculpt mode okay and now let's make sure we didn't yet talk a lot about the sculpt mode either or not at all what you need to now what you need to know for now is just that here you can um, select your brushes in our case we want to use sculpt draw and then here you can set the radius of your brush 30 37 or so is okay um, then the strength of our brush let's put that down to about 0.2 um, and other than that, just make sure that you have it on add over here, okay? And then usually if you haven't um, changed settings previously, this should be all right. And now you can just go in and um, paint over that usually, okay? The problem is that this is not by far not enough high resolution. So what we're going to do in the modifiers panel, we are going to delete this um, subsurf and we're going to add a multi-resolution and subdivide it three times, okay? And now with the multi-resolution, you can actually sculpt over it and everything looks just much better. So now you can see if we do something like this, it changes uh, the shape of the oil. And now 0.2 might be a bit too weak. Let's go with a radius of 0.45. Uh, 45 that's what I want to say and a strength of 0.35 like this and now let's just make sure that we kind of sculpt 
um, all around those olives like this. Still too weak. Something like, actually we might just have to bump that up one more like this. So we have a uh, four subdivisions. Now you can see it sculpts much, much nicer. And now let's just make sure that it we have this um, border going around the whole olive like this and in there as well because pepperoni is also responsible for that effect like this okay it doesn't need to be too exact because um, first of all it's going to be more or less transparent and it's just necessary to get a few reflections there and, uh, but make sure it's not it doesn't go too high up because that would be unre unrealistic okay like this okay and then also over here a little bit more and you don't really have to um, do this for all the olives mainly only for those that are actually visible to the camera or well where the lower part is visible to the camera but um, unless you want to make an animation that actually um, goes around the olives then you need to make sure all the parts are properly um, Sculpt it. Okay, now I'm, go I'm going just going to pause the recording, and once I'm finished, I'm going to, yeah, come back at you guys. Okay, so I am done for the green olives. Now let's just bring back everything else, and let's just um, shift G the pepperoni again, hide that, shift G the green olives, hide that as well, and now we're going to work on the black olives. And I can also see what it looks like. Um, all those parts where the olives touch uh, the oil okay and uh, yeah this, this might look a bit too strong but the olives actually cover some part of it so it should be all right okay so i'm just going to pause recording again okay and i am finished with the uh, black olives as well so let's just for a quick glance let's just um delete uh delete hide all the black olives as well and yeah that's what i came up with and it really does, isn't doesn't have to be that exact it's just that yeah, it gives it a nice extra touch Okay, so old age, this is our oil. Now the next thing are the toothpicks. And they are really fairly simple. Let's just um, select that olive, shift A, uh, shift S, cursor to select it, shift A. Let's add in a, um, a circle. Let's go with five. And I just found that if you want to get a round object, you need to have, you need to have at least five vertices when you're adding the uh, subdivision surface afterwards because with um, with 4 it kind of tends to be slightly squarish and we don't want that. To edit mode, um, E, just move that one up and actually it's just a toothpick has to be just about this high I believe. Oh, just about there. Actually maybe even a bit smaller. No, that's okay. Select everything, S, Shift, Z, Let's shift Z again. So just about there, I guess. Now let's throw in a subdivision surface. Level 2. Um, back into edit mode, let's select those vertices. E. Move it up. Let's scale it in. E again. And then Alt M at center, actually. That should be fairly good. Um, or actually not, let's just go control Z, E again, move it up, hold M at center like this. So that looks like a toothpick. Uh, maybe we need to have make it a bit sharper. And now let's also add in another edge loop to there. Okay, so it actually keeps its uh, radius there. Okay, now let's go in again. Let's move the whole thing up first. Let's go in again. Now let's um, select one of those vertices, uh, those edges there. Let's make sure with Shift S that the cursor is exactly in the middle of this line. Let's then hit the period on our no, a keyboard so that it's actually our selection. Now let's select this upper part there, like this. Um, with C you can actually select all the parts like this. Duplicate that, Shift D, and then. Um, control M to get into the mirror tool and then let's just hit C 
Okay, that didn't work. It should be Control M, really. But it doesn't do anything for me. Okay, just hit the space bar if it doesn't work for you as well. M mirror. And then over here, enter. And now C, and you can see it's on the other side, as it's supposed to be. Now select everything, remove doubles. You can see five vertices um, removed because those were the inter, uh, the overlapping vertices over there. And now we've got ourselves a nice uh, toothpick. Okay. Now it might be a still a little bit too big, so let's just scale it on the C axis a little bit together like this. And now let's just um, hit apply the scale. It's always a good thing to do. And now let's just move it into one of the olives. Um, like this. And now with control comma, we can once again set our selection to the median point or to the origin in this case. Rx, let's just tilt it slightly to bend it because it looks uh, rather unnatural if you have a perfectly uh, perfectly straight uh, upgoing uh, toothpick. Then let's just duplicate that. Let's move it over there into one of the black olives. Rx like this. There. Okay, so this should be... Actually, this is a bit too much like this. Okay. Now one last thing to do. Let me just see. You can see that those Toothpicks aren't really that sharp. Now it's, it's it's not a big deal, but we might just actually no. This is good enough. Real toothpicks aren't perfectly sharp either. Now let's just hit smooth, um, and you can see I should have done that before duplicating it, but doesn't really matter. You can see those issues again. Edit mode, select everything, Control N to recalculate all the normals, and let's do the same thing over there. Control N, and now we have two pretty good looking um, toothpicks. <clears throat> um, okay, so this is oh, one last thing. I don't like the rotation of this bowl. Let's just rotate around the C axis a little bit more. But actually, um, let's not rotate the rest of it with it. Okay, so let's just take the olives. Shift G, those, Alt P, clear parent. That wasn't a great idea. Just give me just a second. Shift G, the green olives. Okay, now Alt P, clear parent. Okay, that worked because um, those pepperonis were not parented to the bowl but to the olives. That's why it didn't, didn't work. Then Shift G, all the black olives. Alt P, clear parent. And now. Here we go. Now we can uh, rotate the bowl independently. Let's just rotate it to something about there, like this. Just looks much nicer in my opinion. And now, Shift G, group, Shift select the bowl, Control P, and same over there. Now once again, that follows. And now the same thing for those, for the toothpicks and the oil. Shift select the bowl, Control P, Set parent to object. And now we are done with that as well. Yeah, now we're pretty much done with the modeling. Um, next tutorial will be about the lighting. How to set up the lights was once again not that difficult, but I think it's a nice technique to um, get this capillary action going on there. Um, yeah, hope you learned something, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. If you have any kind of comments or questions or whatever, post it in the comment section below the videos. Uh, yeah, see you next time.